In this video, we're going to review the steps to cleaning a restroom. Keep in mind, this is just a demonstration, so actual cleaning time will be longer and each building is unique, so be sure to reach out to your supervisor about your site-specific needs. You'll hear us talk about your PPE, or personal protective equipment, which makes sure you're fully protected throughout the cleaning process. Be sure to know what protective equipment is required for each step. Finally, before we get started, make sure your cart is fully stocked with the right materials. Ready? Let's go! First, you'll need to put on your disposable gloves. Then, open the door slightly and announce yourself. If the restroom is not empty, close the door and place the restroom close sign to the side of the door until the person exits the room. If the restroom is empty, hold the door open with a door stopper and bring the cart inside if you are able. Be sure to place your restroom close sign in the doorway. When cleaning, start at the door and move around the room, either right to left or left to right for each step. This will help ensure nothing is missed. Observe the room for broken items, spills, biohazards, or anything that should be taken care of or reported before you start your regular cleaning. To begin cleaning, lightly spray disinfectant on the sinks, urinals and toilets, and the surrounding areas. This is the only step where you will spray the surface directly rather than spraying a cloth or paper towel. Allow the recommended dwell time for proper disinfection. Next, you'll begin stocking materials and fill as needed. Make sure battery operated dispensers are properly working. If not, replace with new batteries. Check paper towels, soap dispensers, toilet paper, seat covers, Check any sanitary boxes and replace with clean bags if needed. This is not considered biohazardous waste and is disposed in the regular trash on your cart. If there are items in the bottom of the container, use a tool to grab the items. Never reach inside. Some sites will also have sanitary product dispensers to be checked and filled. There are three steps to dusting a restroom. First. Use the high duster to clean all vent covers to ensure proper air circulation. Second, spray the blue microfiber cloth lightly with disinfectant and dust all horizontal ledges that are below 70 inches. You will also use this cloth to spot clean areas like trash cans, 
door handles, push and kick plates, and underneath hand drying stations. Be sure to clean fingerprints and smudges off walls and partitions. Third, use the extension duster to clean the baseboards in the entire room except under the urinals and toilets. If the pipes and pipe covers are exposed under the sink, they should also be dusted. Next, you will use an angle broom to sweep the restroom. Start behind the door and sweep the floor along the edges, out from the corners, behind the toilets and underneath any trash containers to move any debris to the middle of the room. Pick up the debris with your dustpan and place it in the garbage on your cart. Never use the trash container in the restroom. You will now need your yellow janitor gloves to clean the restroom fixtures, including sinks, urinals, and toilets. You'll keep your disposable gloves on and put your yellow gloves over top to ensure you are protected throughout the cleaning process. You are now ready to clean the sinks. Use cold water to wet the yellow and white sponge and bowl of the sink. Apply a dime-sized amount of cream cleanser on the white scratch pad side of the sponge and scour the inside of the bowl. Rinse the area and the sponge, then return them to the container on your cart. You'll finish the bowl by wiping out any residue with a paper towel. Next, grab the blue microfiber cloth and spray with disinfectant. Use this to polish the faucet handles and spout. Then, wipe down the rest of the area including counters, backsplash, and the inside of the sink. Make sure everything is completely dry and shiny and the faucet handles are uniform. When finished, put the blue cloth in the laundry bag. Now you clean the mirrors.
Spray a paper towel with multi-purpose cleaner and wipe around the edge of the mirror, starting at the top and going all the way around. Then wipe side to side, overlapping to the bottom. Look at the mirror from different directions and make sure there are no spots or smudges. If the restroom has urinals, you will clean that area next. First, flush the urinals two times and make sure they are fully rinsed. Remove any screens. Then, while holding them over the urinal, spray them on both sides with disinfectant and place them on a paper towel on the floor. Next, apply a generous amount of cream cleanser to your green scratch pad and scour the inside of the bowl of the urinal. Start underneath the rim, scrubbing back and forth and down into the drain hole. Then flush and rinse until all cream cleanser is gone. After the area is dry, place the screens back inside the urinals. Now you'll grab the red microfiber cloth and while holding over the trash can receptacle on your cart, spray the cloth with disinfectant. Start with the flush handles and pipes, then work your way down the outside of the urinal, including the back wall behind and around the area. Next, you'll move to the toilet area. Apply a generous amount of cream cleanser to your green scratch pad. Toilets should be flushed three times to ensure they are fully rinsed. On the third flush, when the water is at its lowest, use your green scratch pad with a generous amount of cream cleanser to scour the inside of the bowl. Start under the rim and scrub all around the inside and down into the drain hole. Flush and use the green scratch pad to help rinse the bowl. Be sure to hold the scratch pad tightly so it doesn't get flushed down. After the bowls are cleaned, spray the red microfiber cloth with disinfectant. Start by wiping any handrails. Then, wipe the flush handle and pipes. And then the back wall behind and around the area.
down the outside of the toilet. When finished, leave the toilet seat in an upright position for inspection, then place the red cloth into the laundry bag. You can now disinfect your janitor's gloves. Holding your hands over the trash receptacle on the cart, spray one glove completely with disinfectant, then the other glove, until they are completely saturated. Rub your hands together all over and in between the fingers. By disinfecting the outside of the gloves, it helps ensure no cross-contamination when you use the gloves again. To remove your gloves, pull at the fingertips of one glove to slide it off your hand, then do the same for the other hand, careful not to remove your disposable gloves. To help keep your gloves together, place them next to each other and roll the cuff of one glove over the other, then place in the container on your cart. Yellow janitor gloves can be used many times, but if you see a tear or hole, you should replace them with a new pair as they are not protective in that condition. Next, you remove the trash. Tie the top of the trash liner, lift it out, and place it in the trash receptacle on your cart. Liners must always be replaced in a restroom, even if there's nothing inside. Apply a new liner, making sure it's snug around the rim and the bottom is resting on the bottom of the container. Be sure to put the trash can back in the same location where you found it. At this time, you want to inspect the area for the work you've done so far. Start at the entry door and make your way around the room in a circle, checking for any areas you may have missed. Look for things like spots on the mirrors, hairs in the sink, debris on the floor, and fingerprints on stall doors. Be sure to inspect with both your eyes and nose. Areas can look clean, but if they don't smell clean, then the area is not clean. The last step in the cleaning process is to mop the floor using the approved mopping system and green mop head, which is for the restrooms only. Begin mopping at the entry door, starting behind the door so that the area is not forgotten. Similar to dusting, you go around the edges of the floor first. You'll then mop the entire area using a figure eight pattern, starting at the back of the room and walking backwards towards the entry door. As you are mopping, the mop should always be in front of you and you should not be walking on any wet area. It is unsafe and you will also leave footprints. When finished, Remove the mop head and place in the laundry bag.
After exiting the room, place the caution wet floor sign in the middle of the doorway. Now you can remove your disposable gloves. Grab the edge of the glove and peel down to turn the glove inside out. Once removed, hold that glove in your other hand. Slide your fingers under the other glove and peel down, turning the glove inside out over top of the glove in your hand. Toss the disposable gloves in the trash on your cart. Now that your gloves are off, you can also remove your safety glasses. Finally, after cleaning a restroom, you must wash your hands thoroughly. Please do not use the sink in the restroom you just cleaned because it needs to be ready for inspection. Hands should be washed with plenty of soap and warm water. Scrub for at least 20 seconds and be sure to get up past your wrists, between your fingers, and under your fingernails. Good hand washing is the best defense against germs, bacteria, and illness. It will take the floors a bit to dry, so you can move on to your next project while you wait. After some time has passed, go back inside the restroom and check to see if the floors are completely dry. When it is ready, the sign can be removed and the restroom reopened. A restroom may account for a small area of the building, but it can be a large concentration of germs and bacteria. Your work in keeping the area clean can make a big impact on customers and is essential to maintaining a clean and safe environment. Each building is unique, so be sure to reach out to your supervisor about your site-specific needs.